Greetings and salutations. It is Wednesday, September 16th, and I promised you a raid walkthrough, and I'm nothing if not always desiring to keep my promises. I started that sentence without thinking of where it was going. All right, so we're going to do Blackwing Descent. Um, I don't know if I can solo Dragon Soul. I haven't tried yet, and I'd rather not bomb it on my first run through because I know I can solo this one. So I'm going to try Dragon Soul this week at some point, and then if I can do it, I will let you all know. So, uh, what the heck? Stop that. Okay, Blackwing Descent is a Black Rock Mountain, kind of. Um, you can't get to it through inside the mountain like you can with the rest of them. So you're going to go to Black Rock Mountain, you're going to go east, you're going to end up right about here on the east side of it. It's pretty high up. Look for this platform. There's a meeting stone somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Let's see if we can find it. There. Oh, that's a throne. Oh, this is like where we fought. What's his name? Why can't I remember his name? The guy from the stuff. Blackwing Lair, I think? Yeah, Blackwing Lair. So we can sit on his broken throne and it looks pretty freaking sweet. Anyway, so let's do Blackwing Descent. It is relatively straightforward. Um, there's nothing too ridiculous. Let's just check the difficulty. Um, I pulled up some of the achievements. So there's to defeat the bosses for Blackwing Descent. There's, you know, there's always achievements for stuff. Um, defeat Nefarian. Um, there's Defender of a Shattered World. You need to do the heroic version of it, I believe. Nope, just the regular version of it. Um, and then all the bosses, if you defeat them on heroic, you get it. Defeating the last guy gets you Blackwing's Bane title. And then there's some ones in there that are really easy, and I'm pretty sure I got all of them doing it on my own. So not very difficult. So we're just doing this on normal 10 man, I believe. Yeah, normal 10 man. So. You enter, there's a boss to your left, and there's a boss to your right. It really doesn't matter which one you do first. I just tend to default left. And again, doing this at level 100 is going to be a cakewalk. So, kill the adds. And I'm still buffed from when I... What was I doing? I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, look, I got a thing. Oh, a BOE wand. Eh, I don't really want that. I'll sell it. I need to start remembering to, uh... The shit, I have to remember that I'm shift-clicking to loot stuff. There we go. Alright, let's kill Magma. So, he doesn't do anything crazy. If memory serves. He has a couple spells, but as you can see... He's already dead. So, 12 seconds, and that was with me still effing up, so it's not bad. There's a sword that drops, well that thing's pretty sweet. But I don't want any of that, so that's fine. We'll just take the money and run. Alright, well that was fun. Finally, someone to deal with that excitement pest. You have my thanks, hero. Why do I look all fiery? Oh, it's just the light in there. Alright, cool. So now we're going to go defeat this guy. And again, I am just giving you the speediest of speedy walkthroughs. Money. Money is always good. Okay, let's defeat Toxitron. So this is the defense system, so eventually, um, if you don't kill him fast enough, uh, these guys are going to activate, I believe. So I think if we kill him fast enough, yeah, they all die. So, but there's that. Come on. And he drops a ring that we can't use, but these guys also drop stuff, so. Money. And yeah, these are all the other guys that if you don't kill them fast enough, or if you don't kill the main guy fast enough, which, you know, usually wouldn't have been a problem, but we're doing this at level 100, and it's a level 85 raid, um, they would drop, and life would be sad. Or they would spawn, rather, and life would be sad, but we killed them, and so we get all the loot, because we're awesome like that. Alright, now we get here. Now, don't go running off the edge like I usually do. There is an elevator. Um, and eventually, we're gonna kill a big dragon. Um, but first, we kind of have to kill a bunch of little guys, so there's the elevator. Here we 
we are. So we can go any which way you want, really. I usually just, again, I always go left. There's a couple little mini dragon overlords here. So we got Pyreclaw. Um, over there is Ivor Ivorok and Mag Mamgor is also there. And they're not anything too difficult. They're just like elite trash. They're trashy, but it's elite, so I guess they're better. I don't know. So we're gonna grab some money. Woohoo, money! And so first up is Den of the Devourer. So it's uh, the Chimeron. And there's a, like a quest thing to, there's a guy who's trapped and yeah, I don't really understand it, but again, he's gonna die really quickly. So there's stuff that he can do, but as you can see, he's dead. So it really doesn't matter. Oh, we got a wand, which I have one. Oh, how do I have one of these? Well, all right, well, I won't keep that then. Finkel Einhorn, aren't you a legendary? Yeah, no kidding, the door is locked. Okay, you're, I'm pretty sure he's a legendary. Oh, when you uh have the beast, the legendary, the beast, he spawns for the other guy, I think. I think that's the guy. Huh, Hearthstone more coming to life, there we go. All right, so that was that, that was really easy. And now we're gonna take out this little pack. Not very difficult. Grab the guy with the most health and mine's here. And we'll throw in a halo or a, a halo, yeah, halo for good measure. So we have to kill all these little guys. They are kind of annoying. Um, don't try not to pull too many of them at the same time. I find at least, unless your DPS and your or your AOE DPS is pretty high, because they like to cast stuff and they're kind of rude. So we'll do that side, and now we'll do this side. This happens, and there's like a little event, I guess. Uh, I think we can skip it if I just run and go ring the bell. What have you got this time? My sincerest apologies yeah. for the disaster. Cool. All right, let's kill Atromedes. Starting this fight, like what's going on? Oh, now he's engaged when he's at no percent health. All right, cool. So if there's a thing that can happen. I don't really remember what it is, but I think it has. There's like a resonance thing, and you have to try and avoid it. And I don't know, but he's dead before he even touched the ground, really. So we're very close to it. So that guy's really easy. This raid is very straightforward. The only really tricky part, in my opinion, is the last boss. He's kind of a dick. is taking a nap. That's not very good. Oh, aren't you a tough guy? Alright, cool. Alright, and now Meloriok is next. And again, there's 
no range they have against this fight. Oh, he manages. Let's see if I can kill him before that arcane storm goes off. Probably not. There, he's dead. Yeah, boo. That was oh so difficult. And now there's a pot. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for that. Now we go kill Nefarious. Lord Victor Nefarious. Good riddance, I say. There's a bunch of dead dragons up there. I don't like this. All right. So now this is all glowy. And we click on it. And before this, Nefarious is there, and if you go near him, this like debuff goes on you and it does like crazy damage to you. So we're gonna put our hand on the orb. And now he's gonna be weird and blows up his sister. And we're just gonna book it over here. So yeah, if you end up down here before you kill everything, you get this debuff on you that does like, it's almost like poison damage or something. Hey, Onyxia, what's up? Oh, goody. What's up, Nefarian? So unfortunately, we have to drop down, and you want to try and end up on one of these pillars. Um, because eventually there's lava that's going to rise back up and it will kill you very, very quickly. Why are you not working? Why are you evading me? What's going on? Why are you evading me? Stop it. There we go. Okay. That was fun. Alright, so she's dead. And then she regains some health, apparently. What is happening? Oh, and Nefarian is back. Alright, let's kill him now. And then we just switch to him. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, now what's going on? Oh, now I'm dying. That's great. And now he's evading me. What is happening? I don't understand what's going on. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm dead. I don't understand what's going on. I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. I've done this before. I've definitely sold this before. This is just rude. Alright, well, this is how you get back from the graveyard in case you pull a stupid and do what I did. You just fly up. I don't know what the heck I did wrong. Burp, derp. Alright, let's go into the instance. Stand by one of these pillars. I think that's what I did wrong. I just too long. All right, now I need to somehow, somehow target a fairy. There we go. That's what we have to do, so don't stand on the pillars that early, I suppose. There should be lava coming in soon. There we go. Oh, I guess we beat out the lava. Cool. Alright. That is it. That that that's really, really it. As far as I can tell. Yep, there we go. Okay. 
So. Cool. That's a thing that happened. What? It says I wiped. I definitely did not wipe. What is going on? Anyway. Combat ended. Okay, whatever. That's how you do it. I don't really understand what's going on. But he's dead. So we're done. Anyway. That is it for today. That's how you do Blackwing Descent. So don't stand on the pillar until you absolutely have to again when the lava comes up. Just make sure you're near one of the pillars. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that somewhat helpful. And I don't understand what's going on. I did not lose, so eat me. Anyway, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.